Hi, I'm Kevin from KGC Engineering and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a really simple little job to do on my Morris van and it's quite simple because all I'm doing is replacing one of the wiper blades. Now it's a question that somebody asked the other day to me, you know, how do we replace the wiper blades? So I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. Right, the problem I've got with this particular wiper blade is that the rubber it's starting to come away. As you can see there, it's it's worn out, so it needs replacing. And rather than replace the whole unit, which you can do, which is a simple enough job, um, because sometimes I'll generally just pull off, or there might be a securing screw just on the end. Um, but I don't need to do that, um, because the actual bit that I need to take off is just the blade itself. And it's very, very simple. There's a little catch on the underside um, off the stem and if you press that down it releases it from the little cup that's in there and it quite literally will come off like that so that can now go in the scrap bin um, but I'll just show you that there's a little lever here um, you've got there you can just see me pushing my thumb down with my thumb there um, there's a little hole there as well uh, and what is basically behind there is a little catch which goes into a recess in the wiper arm um, and once you've released that catch the, the blade will come then come off, it's incredibly simple um, so with that removed I can now fit my new wiper blade in the same in the reverse of manner it's there, the little catch is ready to go and it is quite literally a case of Sliding it on and then it's on. But it does feel a little bit loose that, so what I might do is I might do a little modification to it. Um, and where that little catch is underneath, I might just poke that up a little bit or tighten it around a bit more with a, couple, with a pair of pliers. So I'll go and grab my pliers and we'll have a little look. By comparing the two. Uh, little catchers, I can see that the new one is a little bit loose. Uh, it's a lot looser, in fact, than the old one, which is a lot tighter. You can see it's got quite a bit of spring in that one. With this one, it's, it is spring there, but it is quite loose. So, all I'm going to do to try and improve that is just to tighten up around there and under there a bit just to try and pull it in just make that a little bit tighter if it will it's a bit better Of course, the other thing to try as well is a little catch on the underside in here. Uh, what else is a little catch just in here uh, that the arm rests on is to try and pull that up the tad or see how it. Ah, there we go. Let's figure out how that goes now. Push that through, tighten it up. A little bit better. So I think what I'll, I'll do is I'll just make a couple little modifications and then we'll try fitting it again. I've actually managed to get out the small little tab which holds the lever arm in place, uh, yeah, the bit that just attaches to there. And what I've found, like, comparing it to the old one, is that there's just not quite enough uh, curve on it. So I'm going to shape it a bit more and then pop it all back in uh, and as well as that I'm also going to try and straighten out a little bit the lever arm which actually locates with its little locking tab try and straighten that a bit just to try and give it a little bit more spring so it's going to stay a bit, a bit easier. Pop that back in there. 
then slide those back in there. Walk the tab back in. It feels better already. Just got to try and get it in there. There we are. And that's feeling a lot better and a lot more springy to what we want. So now, as before, refit it, press it down, put it on, and there we are. New blade fitted. So there we have it, a really nice, simple job that you can do on your classic car this weekend or whenever you find that your wiper blades start coming apart like that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, I know it's a short one, um, but I'd really like it if you would like my videos and if you'd love, and I'd really love it if you hit the subscribe button as well. I will be back again next week for another classic car video to show you how to do something else. I'm not sure what it will be, but we'll find out next week. Happy classic motoring. Bye.